Hi, I'm Mark Richard Adams, post-production professional. Come join me for another post demonstration on Colour Me In. And today we're going to look at Avid relinking. Many of you may have had many problems with Avid and its relinking. It's not easy, okay? It's not simple. It's not like Premiere. It's not like Resolve. It's not like Final Cut Pro 10. It can be very frustrating. Um, and we're thankful for Avid for that. Um, Avid is, is a very reliable NLE, of course, but there are some things that are really frustrating and this is one of them. So today I'm wanting to show you a simple way, I think a simple way of trying to get Avid linking to work. So we've got a project, new bin, um, and I'm gonna call this AMA uh, Link Media, okay? Um, the reason I call it AMA, it's just legacy, avid media access, I still call it that, sorry about that. It's now just link media. Um, and I'm creating another bin called transcoded linked media, okay? Now, let's begin. So we go to AMA and let's bring in some clips. So I'm gonna go to the uh, very cool source browser pretty handy in Avid. And I'm just gonna bring in some clips. Uh, these are all 2907, uh, they're all long op. Um, they're all UHD. Um, okay, so let's get a smaller font. Let's get that one, that one, that one. So let's get three clips for the moment. See, we're linking them in, okay? We're not importing, we're linking, okay? In we go. Good, here we are. Here are the clips imported now. Good, and we can see here, let's just go right click on this top bar here, choose column, and we're gonna go down and we're gonna choose uh, format and frames per second. Good, so we can see frames per second and the format's progressive, good, okay. Now, imagine that you are in a project and you're, you're cutting UHD, uh, but you don't have the drive speed, you don't have the computer processing power to cope with this, so, a normal procedure, of course, is to downstep it to proxies. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna downstep these to proxies, we'll do an edit, and then eventually, when you get to your picture lock, you're gonna to wanna to link back to your um, linked media, aren't you? So this is how we do it. So we are going to highlight all three of these clips, right click, and we're gonna to go to consolidate transcode, I'm gonna choose the drive, we are transcoding, we are transcoding linked media, um, we're gonna DNX HD 45, that's fine and go, transcode. Those clips are done, and here are the transcoded clips here. You can see with the film strip, they don't have the two dots either side, which indicate they're linked. Drag them in the transcoded linked media folder, and now let's close down the AMA linked bin, we don't need that. Inside the transcoded linked media bin, we are going to right click new sequence, and I'm gonna make a sequence called a test uh, link. Okay, good. That open that out. Um, let's have a quick look at media. Actually, uh, what's the media? it's telling us that it's DNX forty five. Great, so we made it proxy, and let's just have a look. Choose columns at the format as well. Let's see what Avid has done to it. There we go. Format frame per second. Good. So it's knocked it down to. Uh, 1080p 2997 from UHD. That's good, you know, we can edit that as a proxy HD timeline, that's really good. Pleased, good, okay. Now let's get these transcoded clips and we're gonna stick them on the timeline. Right, there's a timeline. Imagine, if you will, that this is your timeline. This is your complex sequence. Yeah, it's only three shots, but this is a demo. Um, now, let's say that you've finished and you're at picture lock. Um, what do you need to do now to link back to your AMA linked media? Okay. Well, this is what you need to do. So, firstly, we need to uh, decompose this test link sequence. Now, decomposed is an old term, you know, it's a legacy thing. In Avid, it's been around for years, uh, but it's really handy. Right click on it, on the sequence, and go to decompose. And what we're doing is we're stripping the media away from the sequence, okay? We're stripping it away. You could do that in another way, actually. You could just go to your, meet your um, your finder level and alter the um, the name of the Avid Media Files uh, 
fold it, do the same thing. But I'm going to remove it here. <coughs> um, so there's no offline media in there, I don't need to tick that. We want to choose captured and imported clips. You may have captured and imported clips in here. Um, it's going to give me a handle length as well, which is quite good. Put 60 on there for a moment, you can choose whatever you want. Um, and it's going to create a new sequence. I don't need to expert decompose. Click OK. And this is what will happen. Now you can see that in the same bin, it's created a decompose sequence and some clips. Let's open the decompose sequence. And you can see that it's now offline, which is good. It's not the end of the world. It's just stripped the proxy away from this sequence, which is good. Now we can reconnect. Um, so how do we do that? I'm going to stay in this bin. Now, I now need to open up the AMA linked media. Here it is. Now, you may have in your project lots and lots and lots of bins. Um, you will need to open up all of your bins for this to work, okay? Now, you might want to do this in sections, like, for example, open up three bins at one in a, in a short form sort of project. So, we need to highlight the AMA clips or the linked media, okay? Highlight those, and we need to highlight the sequence, okay? Now, if you had multiple bins, you'd open up each of the bins and you'd highlight all of the clips, okay? That's really important. And we're gonna right click on the decompose sequence and we're gonna to go to Relink. Now, Relinked panel is the most confusing thing known to man, okay? It, it's not particularly helpful. I'm sure Avid have got a way of this, <laughs> that this works, but it's very, very confusing. Um, um, okay, so, Firstly, relink selected items to media on drive. Now, we don't want to select that because we don't want the native, we don't want the transcoded media because that would mean that we're loading the media databases. So we don't want that. So I'm going to select items in all open bins, okay? So an open bin, and it's gonna select all those items, okay? So we're sort of removing it away from the Avid database or the Avid transcoded media files, if that makes sense, okay? Say with me here, it's not simple, this. Um, so we've got relink by start time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't often mess with this. Uh, if we go down a little bit further, we what other parameters do we have? We've got um, video parameters, any video format. Yeah, that's what we want. Highest quality. And we've got tracks to relink, and we're going to create a new sequence. Okay. So this looks about right. Um, if yeah, if this was selected, looking at the drives, you could actually change um, this these video parameters HD or SD, for example, if your project was HD or was SD. Um, if you were relinking to transcoded Avid Media, but we're not, okay? Uh, and I know it sounds complex, just stay with me here on this one. Uh, we just, see so if you select um, items in all open bins, think of that as we're looking for the link native media, okay? Again, stay with me, this is not simple. Um, <clears throat> so, if we go down, we're, yeah, we're, that seems to be all right. Let's say so this is grayed out, so we don't need to worry about that. Ultimately, we do want to create a new sequence. Now, let's see if this works. Click OK, and look, we have got a new sequence and new clips. Let's open up this decomposed relinked sequence, okay? And we have a sequence that is now relinked, good. But is it relinked to the right clips? And what we could do is match frame and match bin, and there you go. The clip is now matched to the AMA linked media. Good, so it's matched back to the UHD. You can now perform your um, uh, online grade through, through this now. So what have we done today? Okay, we have brought media in uh, via AMA link or linked media. We've transcoded them down to uh, from UHD to HD proxy, uh, DNX HD 45. We have then done a brief edit, we've decomposed, we've stripped the media away from that sequence, and then we've relinked back to the UHD, okay? Hope that makes sense. Um, Avid relinking isn't simple, it's a little bit complex. Sometimes you have to have multiple attempts at this, and I've done that, I've had multiple attempts of trying to make it work. Um, I personally prefer to uh, relink back to um, my uh, native UHD files in Resolve, it's so much simpler. Uh, I just take the, take the sequence out, AF it out, and bring it to Resolve, whack all the cards into Resolve, and, and away you go, and, it, and the, the relinking is so much simpler. Um, but, you know, many of you might want to relink in Avid, and you might have to relink Avid, you might not have any choice, but Avid can do it, it can be a little bit complex though. 
I hope this video has helped and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed that video, give me a like or subscribe. Put in the comments down below demos you'd like to see next. We'll catch you next time.